Alan George here, and we are in Substance Painter. We are going to finish up this stethoscope, uh, or at least the uh, modeling and texturing segment of this entire thing. Uh, you know what? 1024 is fine. Select our file. Let's go to Stethoscope. Load that on in. Hit OK. And there she is. This is going to be a real simple one. Won't take any time whatsoever. It's basically going to be an aluminum and a plastic, most likely. Uh, so let's go ahead and just do a plastic and we'll probably do a plastic gloss on this one, and we'll lower the uh, intensity of the gloss down. Or pick a dark gray color, not not super black, but uh, definitely definitely gray. Yeah, that's that's we need some roughness going on here. So we're gonna increase roughness a bit. There we go. Actually, you know what? I think I am gonna darken that even more. There we go. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see, so we've got that now, and that's going to be most of it. We're going to right click and add a black, now we're going to right click and add a white mask, and now start masking out the parts that we don't want to be black. Uh, and that's pretty much just going to be a few segments, and actually, uh, we should be able to use the actual UV seg segments. Uh, let's see here, what you, oh, I need black, there we go. These segments here can go, it looks like I cut those up. And then this entire segment is black except for this end piece right here. And then there's the uh, stethoscope itself. Um, now these are gonna be a rubber, so I might as well go ahead and remove all of them as well. And that's looking pretty good. Now I've done something stupid, and that is I haven't baked my mesh map. So let's go back in here. Go ahead and bake those mesh maps real quick. Let that do its job, and uh, yeah, go from there. Now I don't usually like using straight aluminum. Uh, it's just too pure. You, you have to add additional layers to it to kind of dampen it down. So a lot of times I like using iron, uh, like there's iron grinded or iron grainy, just adds a little bit of something to it to make it look a little bit more interesting. So let's try iron grinded, and let's go to the layers really quick and add that as a layer. There we go. Now I wanna actually add that under that, and that might be a little bit too much uh, detail going on there, so we're gonna, let's see, let's see, let's finish, scale and grinding intensity. We wanna tone that down. I just want a tiny bit of it. That's pretty good. And that's going to be fine. Um, I do need to be aware of the normals coming through though. So we're going to go up to the other layer, turn on our normal and our height map, and make sure that we have these set to replace. So here we go, replace and normal replace as well. I just don't want any of these lines coming through. Okay, now we just need rubber. So let's see what we have for rubber. So we have rubber vulcanized, all seasons threads, and then black rubber. We're gonna go with rubber vulcanized. Let's do, uh, let's start with base color. Come back over here. And once again, we are going to want to replace, actually we don't need to replace anything. Oh, actually, yeah, we do. So let's go to, you know what? I just noticed we have a really hard edge there at the top. Do you see that? Hmm, I'm not happy about that hard edge. Maybe we can fix that in post. Uh, let's go to height and do a replace. Let's go to normal and do a replace. And now let's grab our segments. Let's go to a black mask and let's grab by UV component. Actually, no. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, why am I, can I, let's say, let's copy, copy mask. Paste mask. And where's paste? Paste, 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 paste. Didn't I copy this? Control C. Oh, I gotta do a, there we go, and, oh, it doesn't even matter, does it? Let's just nuke that, make this uh, black mask, and start making our selections here. So it's that part, and it's gonna be this part here as well. And you can kinda see some of the little pixelation we get going on there. Uh, if we go back to our texture settings really quick, let's, Let's see here. Let's do 2048 instead. And yeah, it's, it gets a lot better. That's fine. That uh, aluminum texture is still a little bit intense, or the iron grinded. So let's go back to that and just crank that down a tiny bit. We only want to have a slight bit of that coming through. And you know what? That's, uh, that's about it. We really don't need to do anything else to this. 
Uh, let's save this out. Uh, so we'll do stethoscope. Save that. And let's go ahead and get our materials out of here. So export textures. We're going to go to Unity 5. I have a one with occlusion. Uh, not that there's really going to be any occlusion for the map like this, but you know what? Whatever. We If we don't want to use it, we just don't include it. So let's go to our Google Drive and all my projects and nursing, nursing environment and substance painter textures. And let's do stethoscope. Stethoscope. If I can ever remember how to say that right. Export. Open folder. Do a quick double check. We got our albedo, our metallic, our normal, and our occlusion. And that should be all we actually need for this. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Short video, six minutes and 30 seconds. And uh, I'll see you guys next time where we jump into Maya and try to rig this thing up.